projects. I've worked a lot of my career in Europe. I even worked on the European Commission once. I think there's a good deal that needs fixing about the European Union and the institutions have tended to look upon themselves as being existing for their own benefit rather than for the benefit of the citizens of Europe. But I did not think it was a good idea for the UK to leave. Okay, so, but, you know, that that's water over the bridge or under the dam or something. I, 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 it's, it's either <laughs> or. But, so now at this point, it's happening. Um, is your view colored? Right. By, is your view colored by your 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 previous opinion, or or what what do you think? It, it can can it be done effectively? Can it be a positive for the UK, or do you you're going to stick to thinking that they shouldn't have done it? <laughs> I think a lot depends on how we handle this. The, the two big reasons, if you like, why I still remain uh, somebody who would have preferred the UK to leave in is one, I think that Britain's influence in the world and I like to think we can be a force for good and a reliable and, and, and a useful ally. Uh, I think we will be less uh, important on our own than if we stayed in the European Union. And the second thing is that if we do leave, if, especially if it's a complete break rather than a gently negotiated uh, departure, there's a risk that our business interests become extremely damaged as we get stuck in with tariffs and technical barriers and no longer having the single market ability to move goods in and out of the United Kingdom and services too uh, for the benefit of the British economy and I would say for the rest of Europe. So I think it could get very messy. Has my view changed? Um, no, I still would prefer us to stay but I am realistic enough to grasp that the British people have spoken and so I wish the government well. We are heading for something that's called a hard exit rather than a soft exit so the debate is still raging here in the UK as to how we handle it. And as you say, tomorrow is going to be a big moment when Theresa May formally, finally, uh, begins the process when she opens the Article 50 uh, pro uh, proceedings, which are supposed to last two years. And at the end of that, the UK leaves. There were some dire predictions about the markets, economic growth, uh, yes. everything else. Same with here. And that's not what the way things turned out. And just like here, people just say, well, just wait. It's going to end up being bad eventually. Um, is, is that <laughs> your, your view? I mean, Britain's been one of the strongest economies in, in Europe since, since voting for Brexit. That's true. And uh, consumer spending has held up. The currency has gone down by about 15% 15 compared to the European currency. So that's made a, a number of things seem kind of better value. On the other hand, it's made vacations abroad expensive but consumers have kept spending money is still cheap uh, and there's a little bit of a sense it seems that the market is enjoying it now because they're not sure where it's going to be in the future when interest rates go up my yeah. own concern is that after this kind of phony war period and you know guess what there's a lot of people in britain who think we've already left, already left the european union and yeah. nothing's changed right. we haven't done that you know right. we're about to start I worry that the market and, and the increased costs of having a currency devaluation of such a big amount, 15%, that all this is going to start kicking in and creating inflation and higher costs and less competitiveness, and that the right. UK economy will suffer. Well, you know, the second most important thing is, is a lot of very important people we have here in the UK who are not British citizens, who come from elsewhere in the EU, and who make our agriculture and our health service and our financial services industry and all that kind of stuff work so yeah. effic efficiently. If we can't guarantee their status early on that they'll be welcome to stay, right. some of them will start leaving. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.